As you recall in an earlier training video when we entered in our formulas, like for example in my cell F12 and I want to add up this column, I want to hit the equals key on the keyboard and I want to add F7. When I type in F, it brings up the functions down below. Now if that's too distracting for you and you don't want to see it, either you can go ahead and keep typing through it, so we can select the cell and then keep on going, or let me hit the escape key, you can turn it off altogether. To do that, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Options, select the Formulas category, and it's right there, Formula Autocomplete. Go ahead and uncheck it, so when I click OK and I type in equals F, when I type in a letter it doesn't bring up the list of functions that begin with the letter F. Cool. Another one that I want to show you when it comes to customizing your formula options is that, for example, you see that little green triangle in the upper left hand corner of the range here? It tells you that when you select the cell with that green triangle, in the tag here, when you hover over it, that the formula in the cell refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it, and Microsoft's concerned that you didn't include it, in which case you might not have a correct total. Well, if you double click on it, you can see the range is selected here. I don't want to include the employee ID, but Excel can't tell the difference if we want to include it or not. So it's saying, uh, you're missing this adjacent cell that has a number in it. Uh-oh. Let me hit the escape key so I can either click on the tag and say ignore the error, in which case it removes it, or if I want to turn them off altogether, then come up here, click on the file tab, go down to options, click formulas, and it's right there, error checking. So to turn it off altogether, uncheck it, click okie dokie, and they're gone. But it may be helpful in other instances, not just this, so if I'm like, oh fudge, let me go ahead and turn it back on, come back up here, click on file, Whew, getting dizzy. Options, Formulas, and Enable it. In fact, we can actually change the color. Ooh, what colors can we get besides green? Maybe hot pink? And then click Okie Dokie, and it remembered the one that I ignored, but it gave me the others, but this time in fabulous pink. And then if I want to remember, if there was an error here, because I've ignored so many of them, let's say, to bring them all back, click on File. Okay, this is the last time, I promise. Options, Formulas, oh, hold on. Reset ignored, click okie dokie, and all those that we ignored come back. And you can just select the cell, you get the tag, hover over it, get a synopsis, click on the drop down arrow, tells you formula omits adjacent cells. Or a cell that has a number in it that it thinks should be a part of the formula here, the total.